What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic custom icon in Power BI. I'm gonna be using the popular DAX function called Unicar, and I'm gonna be creating a story view icon and also a KPI icon. This is gonna be fun and let's do this. Here we are in Power BI Desktop, and these are the tables that we're gonna be using. As you can see here, we have the financials table, the dates table, course table, and also a tax measures table. I'm gonna share with you this data, this information, so you can follow along. Let's get started with the star review icon. The first thing that you wanna do here is to create a measure. So let's go over here, right click, new measure. And we're gonna call this measure star. We're gonna use here a couple of different DAX functions. So the first function is gonna be called wrapped. And as it says right here, this function repeats text a given number of times. Use wrapped to fill a cell with a number of instances for a text string. If you wanna learn more about this function, stop this video and go over the Microsoft learning materials. But like I said before, the key function for today is gonna to be Unicar. And then the number that we're gonna be using here for the solid star is 9733. And here, let's use also average, and let's reference the score column from the course table. Close parentheses here for the red function, and then a person here. And we can also copy the same here for the sake of time, control V. And here let's adjust this number, 9734. And this is for the empty star icon. And here we're gonna subtract the average from five because the maximum number of stars that we're gonna be having here is five. Once we're done, let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. So we have this measure here called star what we can do now is drag and drop over here. So now you can see that this is working perfectly fine. So we can also zoom in for now. So let's check it out here. Carolyn Proctor, three stars. You have three solid stars right there. So it's working perfectly fine. Let's check another one. How about Zach Valencia? We have three stars here as well. Number three here. So it's working fine. So let's add here a different visual and then let's drag also start over here so we can visualize this a little bit better. If you want to add a different color to this icon, you can do that as well. So let's select here the visual. Let's go over format and here there is an option called specific column. Hit this option and then select start for now. Once we do that, let's go over text color and let's select yellow. So the hex code color is gonna be FFD700. Hit enter, boom. Now you have here the star icons with the yellow color. And then you can do also the same here for this car visual. So let's go over call out value and here Let's select this one right here. It's working perfectly fine, guys. Now you can play with this. You can do whatever you want. Hey, the cool thing about Power BI is that you can do the same thing by using different features. So there is a different way to do this as well. And you're gonna be using here the quick measure feature. So let's do that, home, quick measure. Once you're here, scroll down and then select start rating. For the base value, as you might have guessed, we have to use the score column from the course table. Here we need to select for the aggregation, we need to select average, number of stars, we have five, value for lowest star rating, this should be zero, and then value for the highest star rating, this should be five. Once you're done, hit add, and let's see what happens. So now you have this measure, and if you explore this measure, you can see the Unicar function is also there. 
Awesome. Let's collapse this for now. And let's give it a try. Let's test it. And now we have this measure here. Let's drag it here into this table. Drag and drop over there. Boom. And as you can see, now you have a different way to create a star review icon. Now let's move on to the next tip. KPI icons with Unicar. The main goal here is to add an up and down arrow to this measure. And then this should be dynamic as well. See right there? Just for the example, this is minus 11%. So this should be a down arrow and this should be red. Then let's select another one for now. So this should be an up arrow and this should be green. So that's the main goal. So let's do that. So we need to create a couple of measures here as well. So let's go over measures, right click, new measure. And this measure is gonna be called arrows. We're gonna use variables here, up arrow. And then we're gonna use here Unicar. The number is gonna be 9650. Another variable here. This is a down arrow variable. And here Unicar as well. The number is gonna be 9660. Return the E function here. So we're gonna use here this measure month over month profit growth. If this is blank, so just give me nothing. And then if that's not the case. Let's apply here another condition as well. If this is greater than zero, give me the up arrow. If not, give me the down. So I think we are good to go. Let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. Awesome. As you can see, we have here this visual and this is the new one, I believe. Yeah, this is the new car visual. What we need to do next is select this visual again and let's add data. Let's select this measure, the measure that we just created. I think it's right here, arrows. And now you can see the up arrow, right? And then let's keep working here. Let's keep playing. How about May? Ha, huh, down arrow, it's working. And then the next step here is gonna be to remove this label, the arrows label for the icon. So let's do that. Let's select this visual again. Let's go over call out and here, Let's select arrows because we're going to make the changes just for arrows. And then there's an option here called label. Let's turn this off. Boom. Now this looks so much better, right? So now let's play with another month. Perfect. September. It's up. November is down. As you can see, this is working perfectly fine. The next step here is to add color to this icon. Let's do that. Let's create a different measure here. Let's go over here again. Right click, new measure. And let's call this measure icon color. If month over month, this measure, the month over month profit growth, if this is greater, if this is greater than zero, just give me green. If not, just give me red. Let's approve the changes. So once we are here, what we need to do next is the following. Let's select this visual again. Let's go over format. As you can see here, call out arrows again. And then for values, what we need to do here is apply conditional formatting. Check this out, field value. And then let's make sure that we're selecting the right one. Icon color, let's hit okay. Boom, there you go. This is positive and this is green. So let's select a different month here for now. As you can see, this is negative and also the arrow is down and red. February, positive, December, positive, November, negative, and red. Down arrow and red. So let's remove the filters. Boom. 
All right, my friends, as you saw, we just created the star review icon and also a KPI icon. These are totally dynamic icons and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.